The second annual Every Child Matters tournament is one of the biggest indigenous tournaments in all of Canada and North America. The idea originated from uh, my wife, Nicole Ratt. She had this dream to just get everybody together and she's always wanted to have it during the summer. And so it really was her dream from the get-go. Not only is it just a tournament, for me, I thought of it as a gathering because as a kid, my dad took me to these different tournaments and it's something that we did every year. Every, every one of us, you know, stayed in gyms. We got big vehicles and just went to the different uh, tournaments. And I've always, always enjoyed it, not only for the competition itself, but it was just to see the other people I barely see uh, within that year. We wanted something to bring the people together to promote friendships, sportsmanship, and just really focusing on bringing the people together from all nations. A lot of our elders were residential school survivors. The ones that I've spoken to, they mentioned that hockey and just playing outside was sort of like their escape from the reality that they were going through. So I look at it like a mental health activity, something that our people can do to promote our athletes, to encourage healthy living, healthy lifestyles, and basically to honor those that didn't make it home, to remember them, but while also honoring the survivors. We get a chance to honor the elders that are living today, and they get a chance to see their grandchildren play hockey, play broomball, and gather together as one nation. It's like mixed emotions where I think about the kids that, you know, that passed on at these residential schools, and they would be the kukums and the chums, like the grandmas and grandpas here today. And, you know, it makes me sad that they weren't able to have that opportunity that was taken from them. So like, in a way, like I, I mourn, I mourn, but I'm also happy to see everyone coming together. Um, I saw, you know, just a lot of happy faces and it made me feel good. Sport is always the huge thing for many. It's, it's a way to compete. It's a way to get together, you know. I believe that sport is also a mental health activity. And being a, a health director, it, it was amazing for me to see this weekend, to see all the people that I saw that were dealing with issues and they were completely different while watching the sport, playing the sport, talking to people and just gathering together. When we look at hockey, it's not just a sport, it's a way of life and it gives the children an activity to look forward to and that's why our tournament is so important because we want the kids to look forward to it and we want them to train all year round and, and want to win the tournament and look at it as we get a chance to go to a big city and fill it up with indigenous people and, and create that, that connection with the sport and the culture.